Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily start building a list on your website by adding ConvertKit to all your posts in one go. So the result that we're aiming for is this. I'm going to come over here to the blog page and then select my blog. So over here we can see that we have this opt-in box which says sign up for a free WordPress course and every time someone enters their email address, they'll be added onto your mailing list. Now let's say you have a website with uh, say 5,000 or even a thousand posts. You don't have to go in and do this every single time. So I'm going to show you step by step how to add this opt-in form onto your website site-wide without the need to go in and doing it on every single page. So uh, ConvertKit is the autoresponder that I'll be using in today's tutorial and I highly recommend them because it's easy to use, it's affordable and also it's great to get started with. So uh, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to create a brand new post. So I'm going to come over here to post and then click on add new. I'm just going to call this um, post four. And then I'm going to paste my text in this area. Come over here to my featured image. And then I'm going to choose my featured image. So uh, I'm going to go with this one for now. Okay, I'm going to click on set featured image and then I'm going to publish it. So if you want, we can take a quick look and uh, see what it looks like. So I'm going to click on view post and we can see this is how our post looks. Great. Right, so uh, I'm just going to go back to my dashboard. So the next thing we're going to do now is to add our plugin. So let's come over here to plugins, click on add new. So the plugin that we need to install is called ConvertKit. So I'm just going to search for it. And here it is right here. Okay, so I've installed it already. All I have to do now is to activate it. So I'm going to click on activate. Great. So now our ConvertKit plugin has been activated. Next, we want to come over here to our settings. And then we want to add our API key and our API secret. Now, this can be found in ConvertKit. And you have to make sure that you're signed up onto uh, ConvertKit in order for you to... Uh, to get the API key and API secret. So I'm going to come over here to ConvertKit and over here at the top, I'm going to click on account settings and here's my API key. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. Next, I'm going to need my API secret. I'm going to paste it here and then click on save changes. Great. So now we have our information in place. Next, we want to come over here to our default form. So this is where you get to choose the form that you want to add all your subscribers to. So if I come back over here onto ConvertKit, I can see that I have several forms that I've, uh, that I've created here. So I'm going to add to the free WP course form. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here on default form. I'm going to choose free WordPress course, save changes. So what this means is every time the form shows, unless I change it, it's always going to default to this list. So let's go to our post page now and take a look. So if I click on all posts, I'm going to go to a specific one. So let's go to post uh, four, uh, click on edit. So what we'll notice here is if we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we see now we have an entry for ConvertKit and by default it's going to uh, add us to our WordPress free course. But I can always come here for my specific post and change it to whatever it is I want to change it to. But by default, it's going to be set to that. And then over here, you can also set a tag. So everyone that signs up will have a tag. So I'm going to set my tag here as WP free like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and update. Next, we're going to take a look at this post and see uh, what it looks like when our visitors come to our website. So I'm going to click on view post. Okay, so if I scroll down here, we can see straight away we have this join the newsletter, uh, subscribe, and so on. So if I add my email address here and hit subscribe, anyone that subscribes to this will be added automatically to our list over here. Now, let's say you want to change this text over here to, um, to maybe say something else. So what you want to do is to come over here to ConvertKit, click on this list, and then you can go and then you can come over here and make your changes. So you can change this to whatever you want for the opt-in form because you can always go in and start typing just like that, okay? So maybe this could be uh, sign up for a free WordPress course, okay? That's just an example. 
So once we save this, when we go to our page over here now and refresh, you can now see that it's automatically updated it, which is great. And you can also go ahead now and um, even uh, change the text on the button. You can also change the colors and so on. So this is an easier way to go in and uh, build your mailing list by uh, adding these forms onto your blog post. So this, as I mentioned, is going to be applied to all your blog posts. So let's go and check and see if this is going to be applied to all the other posts that we have on this page. So if I come over here to demo three, that's a different uh, blog post. If I scroll down here, we can see now that we have it in place. Okay, so same thing if I come over here to demo post. Again, we have it here. So if you have a website which has, let's say, um, a thousand posts, for example, you don't have to go in and add it one by one onto each and every post. So you can just do this process once and then this gets added onto your whole website. So that's one way you can start building your mailing list using ConvertKit. And I highly recommend ConvertKit because it's very, very uh, blogger friendly. And also it's very good for uh, small business owners uh, to, uh, to use. Uh, I use this for all my websites. And I mean, I've been with them for a very long time now. And I really, really recommend it. So all the links to, um, to all of that is going to be in the show notes below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I also have the link to that in the post below. Today's tutorial has been made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below.